Vapor compression is a distillation process that compresses and condenses evaporated feed water to form distillate. Since compression increases both the pressure and temperature of the vapor, latent heat rejected during condensation can be used to generate additional vapor. Conservation of latent heat is the reason for the MECO vapor compression still's high energy efficiency. The process begins when feed water is preheated by the distillate cooler and blowdown cooler, as well as the feed heater. This efficient heat exchange in the coolers minimizes the system's energy consumption by reducing demand on the feed heater. The preheated feed water flows to the decarbonator and is sprayed through rising vent vapor, which strips non-condensables from the feed water before entering the evaporator. Steam heating coils in the bottom of the evaporator further heat the water, causing it to percolate, boil up through the evaporator tubes, converting feed water to vapor. A portion of the feed water in the bottom of the evaporator is removed and discharged to waste to control the concentration in the evaporator. A demister removes entrained water droplets from the vapor, which is withdrawn by the compressor. When the vapor is discharged in the evaporator on the outside of the tube bank, it gives up most of its latent heat to feed water inside the tubes. More vapor is generated, and the process continues. Entrained water droplets, which have been removed by the demister, return to the process. Vapor condenses on the outside of the evaporator tubes, forming distillate. Distillate drips down the tubes, is gathered in the distillate collection box, and is then pumped out by the distillate pump. The distillate is pumped through a cooler and out of the still for use.